You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. <clears throat> Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity, to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. And Lord, over the life of the church, many have persecuted your people. Some of them committed atrocious crimes against your church. And even then, you, in your mercy, forgave them and allowed them to become your followers. And so just as you touch the heart of so many, as you touch the heart of Paul, we pray that you touch the hearts of those who persecute your people now. And that upon touching their hearts, the scales from their eyes may be removed and maybe they may be able to see you and become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops, especially Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Sandra D. Cruz. We pray, Sacred Heart, that as she begins her new job tomorrow, that you help her learn all the required tasks for her new employment in a efficient, effective, and fast time so that she can do her job and be ready to uh, fill in for the person that's taking uh, vacation 
in February and so that she be able to do all her required tests on time and be able to help out in the different departments that she may be assigned to. Be with her every step of the way, Lord, and surround her with your love and mercy. In that way, she will feel confident that you are with her. And in that way, she'll be able to relax and get out there and do the best that she can do. We pray this in your name, Jesus. And Lord, we also pray for those who are sick, <clears throat> especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are sick with Ebola. And we pray, Jesus, that you also protect those who care for them and that there be an end to the Ebola outbreak. We pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues. More importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts, as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, God, heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival, many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now, as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me, screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilating me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad that you were able to tune in and pray with us today. If this is your first time praying with us, I encourage you to bookmark this uh, page um, or Download this application that you, whatever application you're using, and uh, stay tuned. We do these prayers three times a day, seven days a week, God willing and technology allowing. Um, if you have a second, which most of us do, just one tiny little second, share these prayers with your social network contacts. With your friends and family, you could use uh, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, you can use just about any social network out there. MySpace is another one to share these prayers with your social network contacts, and you can also use text so you can share it with your close friends. So there's many ways you can share this, and it only takes you one tiny second. And that one tiny second can be a humongous blessing, a tremendous blessing to someone that you know. If you'd like to find out more about our ministry here on Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, visit us at Sacred Heart Jesus dot org that is sacred heart jesus dot org i hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you later on today for afternoon prayer have a good one <music>